And then finally, efficiency. This is uh, the amount of calories we burn digesting food. And various macronutrients are more or less efficient at being utilized as energy. Got to skip through some of the science here, but from a high level, fat and carbs are easy to convert into energy. Only about 3 and 6% of the energy we ingest is spent turning those into usable energy by our body. But protein is hard to turn into energy. Protein isn't really a source of energy for our body. It's a structural component. So we're going to burn a dramatic amount of calories just turning protein into usable energy. And because of that, it's very unlikely to be stored as body fat. It's inefficient at being stored as body fat. This is why higher protein diets almost always are more effective than lower protein diets, calorie for calorie, when it comes to weight reduction. What is actually happening in your body is if you eat 300 calories of protein, by the time it leaves your stomach, you've only really have, this is conceptual, but you only have about 210 calories left. Because the sheer process of digesting protein and turning it into amino acids is very hard for your body. It burns a lot of energy doing that. And then if you have an excess of amino acids, just more than you need, and your body wants to then use them for energy instead of for building your body, it then has to convert them into glucose. It does this through a process called gluconeogenesis, and that's, that's a chemical change. You're taking amino acids and you're converting them into glucose, so a bunch of energy is lost doing that. So now you've got 141 calories of glucose floating around in your bloodstream, and then if you don't need that glucose as energy, your body will take that and convert it into body fat, but again, body fat, or the technical term triglyceride, is a different thing from glucose, so your body has to perform a chemical reaction to take glucose and convert it into body fat, so again, you're burning even more calories. So at the end of the day, if you were to just lay in bed and exert no calories through any other activity, eating 300 calories could only ever be stored. You could only store about a third of those as body fat, simply due to the inefficiency of taking chicken breast, converting it into amino acids, converting it into glucose, which would then be converted into body fat. Again. Calorie is not a calorie once we start to understand this biology.